Climate change was supposed to be this 100-year problem, sort of a slow lobster boil. Instead, it's here and now. Those of us that are working on the ocean are seeing the changes every single day. Warming waters, fish moving north, kelp forests around the globe are threatened and disappearing. And now we're the canaries in the coal mine. We really need to figure out as fishermen, as ocean farmers, how do we change our relationship to the seas? Regenerative ocean farming is an example of a nature-based solution. It's really about using Mother Nature's technologies to breathe life back into the planet. So moving humans from something that's extractive to something that's really about a collaborative relationship with the Earth. Kelp is this really powerful nature-based solution. It's the underwater sequoia of the sea. It soaks up over five times more carbon than land-based plants. It captures nitrogen, carbon, rebuilds reef. This is really Mother Nature's technology whose role is to regulate the climate. So all the crops we grow require no fresh water, no fertilizer, no feed, making it hands down the most sustainable form of food production on the planet. And they're all breathing life back into the ocean. And that's key is to move beyond sustainability, move further in the air of climate change. So it's really a foundational species that we can build a new blue economy on. GreenWave's role is to train the next generation of ocean farmers. We started off as a little nonprofit, and then 8,000 people signed up for our farmer training program. One of the core elements of GreenWave's work to build this new blue economy is the Kelp Climate Fund. And there we're actually paying farmers to plant kelp. They planted over a million feet of kelp seed at this point, and in return, farmers provide data. So we're able to track the nitrogen, the carbon, the reef restoration, and we're able to really measure the impact and the benefits of kelp farming and make sure people can make a living on a living planet. Treadright has been one of our core founding partners. They really understand that what we need for in climate solutions is collaboration, not competition. So they've supported the Kelp Climate Fund and making sure that farmers make a living and that we get that data. How often do you get to build something from start? We get to make sure that seed is not privatized, make sure that beginning farmers can access this new economy, that we weave social justice into the DNA. Suddenly we can build something we're proud of, something that we want to hand over our kids, where all of us are working not just to address climate change, but to also lift up communities.